Hey everybody, this is Pastor Vance. Welcome to Weekly Wisdom. I'd like to share with you out of Proverbs 10, 19. It says, in the multitude of words, sin is not lacking, but he who restrains his lips is wise. Wisdom says, if you keep your mouth shut, then you actually are wise. Proverbs 18, 21 says, the power of death and life are in your tongue and you will eat the fruit thereof. So what are your words creating? Words are so powerful. They create your world. And in many situations, we don't realize that we're creating such negativity towards our finances, our marriage, our relationships. And it's all because of our words, it's our mouth, our actions and what we speak out. So, you know, just because you have thoughts, they, they don't carry power until you actually give them life through your lips. And so be careful what you're saying. It's better to keep your mouth shut and to be thought of as a fool than to open up and remove all doubt. There's different people that said that Abraham Lincoln quoted that. And I'm just, I'm in agreement with that. We just sometimes need to be quiet. And that's a hard thing to do. You know, if you could just fast your mouth for a while, including myself, you'd be amazed at just the things that you don't say, how they create life. There's something really powerful when you can speak words of life, though. Words spoken that carry life are healing to people. They, they're encouraging to people. So choose your words wisely and remember that everything that is connected to faith is connected to your mouth. We get saved. We get born again by confession. It says in Romans 10, you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth unto salvation. So eternity is connected to your words. It's connected to your salvation. So if eternal things are connected to our words, how much uh, are our finances? How much are our marriages, our relationships and everything in the natural connected to our words? So listen, if you're, if you're just saying negative things about yourself and about your business and about your life, your job and about people, you're going to get those. You're going to have to eat those words. You're going to get those results. So wisdom says this, it's better to just keep your mouth quiet than to open it up. Man, it is a hard lesson. There's so many times that I have to go back and make things right and repent and, and get those things right and begin to speak right words. So I love you guys. I hope this is encouraging to you. If you like what you're hearing, if you want to hear more, if you'd like to see us live, join our YouTube channel. You can subscribe to it. You can like us. And if you would like the updates, there's a place to hit there and you can find out when we're going to go live on Sundays. God bless you guys. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.